Hey guys, Larry Alabama here. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say something on what about the drug that um, Connor Ben took and um, and what it could do for your performance. So basically, um, the drug he took was a drug called clomiphene citrate. Its trade name is, among others, clomid. It's, it, that's the most common trade name. Although there's other uh, trade names, Sepafar and Greece. And anyway, that's irrelevant. The drug name is clomiphene citrate. And basically what this is, it's called a CIRM, a Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulator. Basically what it does is it attaches itself to estrogen receptors, thereby, especially in the pituitary, thereby telling the brain that it hasn't got enough estrogen, in men anyway. Um, so then it will produce more testosterone, so that testosterone then gets converted into estrogen. Um, so it, it is used as a fertility aid in women. Uh, it can actually aid fertility in men as well. It actually helps women to ovulate and it actually can in increase sperm count in men. Um, but what it also does is it increases testosterone levels in men um, quite substantially, actually. I've seen I've seen studies where it's increased uh, levels by 300 uh, percent. So three times the amount, you know, um, and, and generally speaking, it does increase between two and three times the amount. I've even seen studies, in fact, 400% uh, uh, increase. So it's very substantial what this drug can do. Um, so it can give you basically the same performance benefits as a low dose testosterone cycle. Um, so it be, do, do not get into anything Eddie Hearn or uh, Sauland was saying that it doesn't really increase Test uh, uh, performance that much it does it really does um, this is why some people uh, who are not being tested who are doing TRT would take Clomid instead of testosterone because their body still responds to something like a Clomid um, so in a young healthy man as Connor Ben is it would really help his performance also, not just that, not just not just that alone, but it could also help maintain performance after a steroid cycle. So basically, this drug is also used as a PCT drug, a pulse cycle therapy drug, which then increases testosterone, which will be reduced after a, a steroid cycle, thereby making sure that you still keep the gains from that steroid cycle, which is actually the main way it's used. So, um, yeah, it, it, it can have increased performance using it alone to increase testosterone or it can maintain performance at a high level after a steroid cycle by keeping your testosterone high. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Another question that I've been asked is, um, will, was, was this going to be covered up and will, will there be a cover up? Let's answer the first one. Uh, was there going to be a cover-up? I would say sort of, because until this was leaked to the public or leaked to the media, should I say, um, no one heard anything about it. But yet, they knew about the result of this test for weeks before it got leaked. So that means not just Eddie Hearn, not just Sauland, but the British Boxing Board of Control knew about this test result for weeks before it got leaked. Now, I agree that the A test alone doesn't confirm a, a positive test, but I know for a fact that if an A sample has been tested positive, they would still not allow the athlete to compete until the B sample has been tested. And therefore, so it, 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 there was a little bit of a leeway being given to this fight. Um, because I know that when I tested positive, it, uh, I was going to f do a fight and that was just the A sample. I never had the B sample tested because in the end I, I ended up admitting it. So, but they said I couldn't fight until the B sample was tested. So why wasn't that included in this? Um, so maybe what they were trying to do was stall until the fight took, stall the B sample until the fight took place, then have this B sample tested and then whatever happens happens because they've made their money by then um that's that was my that's my thinking on it um so in that sense there could have been a bit of a cover-up 
Will there be a cover-up? Well, it's quite possible because at the end of the day, we've still not heard what happened with uh, Dylan White's B sample. And uh, isn't it surprising that Eddie Hearn is all behind that as well? Um, you see what I'm saying? Like, you know, Dylan White apparently gave some nonsense excuse about either dog food or contaminated supplements in Portugal and it was bought, you know, obviously, I, I think some shenanigans went on there as well, backhanders or whatnot. And he got offered that. And the same might happen here. The same might happen here. I mean, I've heard reports about Vardar now collaborating with UCAD. And now UCAD can go after him. But I, I don't see it. I'll believe that when I see it. Do you know what I mean? So I've been also asked, would a medical expert claim that there's no real performance enhancement benefits to this drug? And my answer to that would be, what is considered a medical expert? Because here's the thing, right? You could have a GP who knows nothing about the off-label use of this drug, who only knows about using this for women's fertility treatments, who would say, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no um, benefit, no performance enhancement benefit to a male athlete because he doesn't know. And you'll be surprised how many doctors don't know. You would be very surprised. But then you could get someone who knows about this drug, uh, a medical expert who knows about this drug, namely a lot of TRT doctors who will tell you the truth. And that will be that this drug will give you substantial performance enhancement benefits. Even if you don't have low testosterone, because it will just increase your testosterone even more. Um, so no medical expert who knows how to use this drug in male athletes would say that there was no performance enhancement benefit. And if they do, they're lying. So it's either ignorance or lies, simple as. But there's, there's, you can't deny it. Listen, a lay person can go and look online and look at the, um, the benefits of this drug. So a medical, medical expert who tells you that there's no performance enhancement uh, to be gained from using this drug is talking bollocks. I've been asked by a few people if uh, Connor Ben's positive test could possibly be an accident. And I would say 99% no. Um, look, this drug is a prescribed drug. Don't get me wrong, you can get it in a lot of gyms, a lot of bodybuilding gyms. Um, it's very common in there, but it's a prescribed drug regardless. Um, there will be no need for supplement companies to contaminate this with it. In fact, I don't agree with a lot of people that supplement companies, I, I, I think 99.9% .9 of supplements out there are untainted. I think those days of tainted supplements have gone. Because there was a time when that did happen. I think nowadays that's not the case. And I think a lot of athletes that recently have got away with tainted supplements uh, as the excuse. Um, there's been some shenanigans going on. Um, so I don't think this is an accident. I, I, I And I'm not putting any shade on Connor. Um, listen, he did what he felt he had to do. And everyone knows my position on, on, on performance enhancing drugs. But... Um, for the people that are asking me if this is an accident, no, I don't think it's an accident because um, you you can't, I don't see any, if a supplement company is going to tank their supplements with something that's going to be decent, why use Clomid? Why not just use an anabolic steroid like a lot of the companies were at one point? Do you know what I mean? Why not taint it with an anabolic steroid instead of uh, Clomid, which won't have as much benefit as an anabolic steroid if you want people to buy supplements? Uh, which is why people would take supplements. So, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's an accident. Um, the, the argument could also be made that he could say that he took them inadvertently. Um, but why would you? I mean, it says quite clear on the packet what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So unless you're saying you can't read, um, I, I really don't see how you can claim that this is an accident.